Hi, everyone. Thank you all for coming. We are RESPECT, and we're challenging the core metric of basketball. RESPECT stands for Real Shooting Percentage. My name is Leo, and this is Orin, my brother, co-founder and CEO of RESPECT. We developed a system that tracks shooting in high resolution. It helps improve players' shooting and the game experience. Our system shows exactly where each shot hit with pinpoint accuracy. This example, you can see a swish, easy. Could have been a swish an inch to the left or two inches shorter. Here you have an air ball, clearly one of my shots, again. Notice this one, hitting the rim and bouncing in. And another shot, more accurate, deeper, hitting the rim and bouncing out. The rim compromises the relationship between accuracy and field goal percentage. Shooting improvement has several stages. Coaches watch the dribble and pull up. Release and follow through are key, we all know that. Some people follow the arc. The only way to evaluate the result of the shot is with respect where the shot hit. We are the only ones who can tell you that, and that's why we are shooting accuracy. <coughs> So the, the first question that every professional and fan asks about shooting is what are the chances that the player makes the next shot? It applies to whom do you foul, who takes the last shot, whom do you draft, and how you improve your shooting. In this example, this player's coach offered a tweak to his technique. The player tested it and shot 10 for 10 in his old technique and 8 for 10 in the technique with the tweak. Which one should he use? The 10 for 10, right? And now, what we see is that clearly the player should take the next shot with technique number two, even though its field goal percent was lower because it's more accurate. It'll give better results on the long run. Further, there are more insights here. Maybe the player should shoot an inch lower, an inch to the left or an inch to the right. This data, this accuracy gives, gives that data and, and helps them improve. Field goal percent is not accurate enough and it sometimes may even mislead. In the Israeli national rifle shooting team, we improved our shooting based on live, real-time, super accurate feedback, both in practice and in competition. For years, I wanted to bring that to basketball, my love, and this is what we're doing. So respect, first of all, improves the player's shooting. How we do it? We find and fix errors that nobody else could even notice exist, as in the examples you saw. Since the data is so visual and intuitive, both player and coach can see it, can understand it, can communicate it, and can find what to fix. Then we optimize improvements. With 20 shots, you can get a, better, a very good indication of your shooting quality. In this example, and then you can A-B test. You can rapidly test, test tweaks, and find out what works. In this example, it took 85 shots in 20 minutes, and the player improved his grouping size by 20%. Of course, the respect also adds value to scouting, to decisions in-game you know, and out of game. Uh, as, an NBA, as the top NBA uh, shooting coach said, we complete the cause and effect loop. The coach and the players know everything about the mechanics. We give the exact results. Together, we complete the loop. And this applies to any player at any level. But respect also improves the fan experience, adding respect to live game broadcasts, to timeouts, to replays, and to crazy debates between commentators will improve the gaming experience. Did you know that Ray Allen's classic game-winning, game-tying, Game, three, game six three-pointer was a bullseye, dead bullseye, dead center. And LeBron's miss just a few seconds before that. It hit the rim and bounced, but it actually had a 30% chance to go in. For spectators, for, for fans, this improves the experience. It gets, them all, it gets them more involved. We also add respect to social media. Whether it's professionals debating quality, whether it's players bragging about their shooting in, in competition or in practice, or whether it's fan and, and analysts finding amazing insights in the data. Okay, our patent pending system installs once and easily. Tracking is done in the background. No wearables, no mess. It's real time, sub inch accurate, and tracks all important parameters. It takes no effort from the coach or player. They can run full reports anytime from anywhere. It's low cost enough to be used by NBA, college, even high school teams, and ultimately consumer. From kids shooting in their backyard to amateurs in gyms, respect will be accessible enough for everyone to shoot better. Our all-star team is ready. Among our, among our advisors and investors, we have Owen Yogev, founder of 3D and the 360-degree replay that revolutionized fan experience across all sports, and uh, Gal Oz, founder of SportView, who laid the foundation to basketball analytics. 
Our brand will be visible to everyone, every basketball fan through social and broadcast. Every player will use respect equipped baskets to improve their shooting. Every shot will be saved in our cloud for data processing, and we're all going to have lots of fun with this new data. Thank you all for listening. I promise you this, you'll never take another shot or watch another basketball game without thinking about the real shooting percentage. Thank you. Thank you.